some amazing things happen. Another shift. What does that mean? I'm going to tell you because I say that a lot. Well, I say it a lot, but only at certain times. And we do have another really cool shift. There are going to be tons of them. But like anything, they happen in spurts. You might have heard about, you know, Mercury retrograde. And I, that means nothing to me because I think there are opportunities in every moment and no planet tells me what's going to happen here. All right, now everything is energy and I do believe in all of that, but I want to share with you something really cool that's happening and I'm actually seeing it happen with most people. If you participate, you have free will and choice, but something shifted right now. It's happened for me. And all of a sudden I have friends saying, hey, this happened, that happened. I'm going to tell you right now what that is and that you can actually benefit from it and participate in it. You have complete control over this. You ready to go into another amazing shift? Let's do it. Welcome to Landria on God on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an amazing life. Are you going through some kind of change? A lot of people are. Well, you could do one of two things. You can go into poor little me, you know, things have changed, blah, 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 you know, and, or you can say, hey, things have changed. Wow, what could that mean? And you seek and find all the opportunities out there. All right, so what are the opportunities? They're endless. But I've shared with you many, many times, my whole channel's about this, we are going into something amazing. And the shift is, first of all, prompted by all of these people coming into awakening, recognizing we're not the material bodies we see, we're not the material world, we do affect it, we are all one connected, we got to get past our conflict and our blame and all the crap that we just pelt ourselves with it or negative stories and we're we're tired of it we're going into non-tolerance zero tolerance is what i call it and zero participation that means i'm not going to participate in the garbage how do you participate so oh, i'm not participating if you're eating fast food if you're buying stuff that's bad for the planet if you're buying anything that that uh includes animal testing you are participating so we have to be so aware and that's awakening now what's happening with that is we have the Schumann resonance and that is our little uh, electromagnetic field. It's uh, very high. The frequency has been changing. Why? Because we're changing and we're affecting that. There are a lot of other factors, but the Schumann resonance is actually documented by many agencies. I believe NASA is one and they have documented that it is going up higher frequency. That is huge. And just like the planets, when they shift, we are affected by everything. You're affected by your neighbor's thought. You're affected by everything that goes on around you. The weather, of course, everything's connected. So it's this butterfly effect that's real. So right now, we're going into the open for change, opening myself up to things I never would have before, uh, accepting the fact that Maybe I don't know everything. I was out with some friends yesterday. We had an amazing brunch out on the water, and I started to talk about things that I said, you know, most of my friends don't even know that I do this and that I talk about some stuff that's out there. And there are people out there that are so close-minded. They're so afraid to go into that space, and they'll think that you're the crazy one. But the truth is, no one's crazy. People just limit themselves. So I said to him, would it be possible that we are alien hybrids? <laughs> and my friend said, yeah. He goes, hey, he goes, I never would have said that before. He goes, I'm thinking it makes sense. And we were starting to talk in this really fun conversation about the possibilities out there of all kinds of things that we would never consider before. Now, we weren't saying yes or no. I'm not, I'm not clamping on to any one thing, any one belief. But what's happening is because we're opening up, we are now going into unlimited probabilities that we were saying, that's not possible. And that, so we had closed-minded low frequencies. Now, so many people are going up to these higher frequencies and saying, 
all things are possible, and they're focused more on the positive change than saying, oh, we're going to hell in a handbasket, or poor little me, my life has changed. Yay, celebrate it, because all kinds of amazing things are lining up for you. Things that you might not have done before because maybe you had a story in your head about what that was. So what I want to share with you about that is that because the collective is making higher choices, you are also benefiting from it. Now, you can do it on your own, but when you let go of how things are and who's doing what or blah, 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 talk to the hand or you're watching the garbage on, you know, social media and telling me that, oh, I don't do it. And then you, you know, spewing back some stuff and I'm saying you have to be on it to be to even know this stuff. Focus on that which is expansive and don't have to know everything. What if I don't know how the universe works? What if I am the creator, as is everyone, including that palm tree out there and that little bird that visits me? That is the essence of the creator, not describable or understandable by human minds because we have been in such a box. So our expansive mind ability to be open to that also brings in these amazing positive changes for us, choices available for you. I had a friend just sent me pictures of the most amazing house that they found. It was like perfect. It was all redone and it was just everything they could have imagined, which they did and, and were very confident about, it shows up. Now I'm looking at my businesses and I said, you know what? I might want to shift into some new things. I'm launching a new business called Digital Explorers, but everything's automated. And I thought, I'd love to bring on a new client doing something I really, really love and adding that to the mix and collaborating. I'd love to collaborate. And all of a sudden, I was seeking, and this showed up, this amazing opportunity, as did a few other ones. And it was like, wow, that was quick, within 24 hours, because it was so clear and open to what I wanted to do. And I didn't have ideas about how things should work and my business only. No, I said, you know what? I'm going to say to the universe, hey, send me the best possible opportunity. And it showed up. And then other opportunities showed up. And I went, oh my gosh, this is like almost mind-blowing how much is showing up. And it will flow like a fire hose, all right? So be ready for it. And if you're focused on it, and not the other stuff. You've got to step away from the madness, step away from the limitations and the finger pointing and who's doing what. Just say, I don't know. I don't know why somebody does something. I don't really need to care about that. I need to focus on one thing. What am I doing? And what am I producing in this world, creating? And what am I doing for the one? Because that collective one is opening up a gateway for you right now. I'm telling you, you could do this in a few hours. A day, 24 hours, you can start to see things show up. But, so here's what we have to do. We have to be very clear. And we cannot have the negative thoughts or the doubts. And I have uh, been coaching a lot of people lately to go after some, some dreams, most of them with money and new jobs. Actually, quite a few of my clients all of a sudden are saying, I want to, you know, better myself in the finance arena. I said, let's go for it. And within 24 hours, most of them, most of them, have gone into this space of making more money, more opportunities, opening. I said, keep going, keep going and going and going. You know, don't settle, just keep opening up and you'll know the one that really resonates with you. Same thing with relationships. Oh, I always get bad relationships. And I said, no, you don't. Everybody does. You just date those people. Be everybody, my girlfriends used to say, Leandra, you get the nicest guys. I said, you know, uh, you never get the jerks. I get the jerks. I said, no, I get the jerks. I just don't date them. And every once in a while you do, and you go, bye, talk to the hand. Shut your pile. hole. And then you move on, and you bless them. You say, ah, not for me. Go with some cray-cray person who loves your, you know, uh, <laughs> bipolar uh, personality. I'm not here to cure that. But these people are not to be criticized. They're just don't bring them into your energy field and allow them to sort out what they have to without criticism or judgment, right? We don't want to go into that space. Separation, you're bad and good. It's just say, I'm not there anymore. We're, we're, we're in a different frequency. And when you go in there, I'm telling you right now, I'm seeing so many people get new jobs, 
uh, new frame of mind, uh, just trying new things, open to relation, uh, opening up. And that's the key. You're ready to do that? If you do that right now and say, what if, what if I'm thinking is limiting? What if there is something else out there I don't know? Again, you don't have to believe the something else. Just be open to it and say, what if I'm really creating everything with my thought? Well, then let's just experiment and choose those thoughts and then see what happens. And make sure you don't, oh, you can't do this. You're not good enough. You'll never make enough money. You don't deserve a loving relationship. Just shut, shut, shut your pie hole. Shut your pie hole, yeah? <laughs> you guys, I hope that you will subscribe and I will hope that you, I've got free videos for people who want to create online businesses, get new skills, get get stories out of your head about that. Somebody said, I really need to join, but you know, I, there have been other scams. And I said, so if somebody cheat, if you've been cheated on, you know, in relationships, what, you stop dating, right? Because this person cheated on you. So you're going to let the person who is amazing go I mean this makes no sense in my head limitations throw them out the window you can't make a mistake you learn from these things right so free videos you can sign up and come on over take one of my classes uh, be one of my students um, we're just blowing the doors off of everything and it's very exciting you're whole and perfect strong and powerful loving harmonious and happy blessings my friend namaste